Hi, Pisces. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. Did the lighting just change? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is your reading for the week of August 8th through the 16th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I am offering one-on-one -on -one readings. I also offer IET, which is Integrated Energy Therapy, which can help you to uh, transform energy. Uh, I have a lovely website, ripecolor.com. I have, I offer um, astrology t-shirts as well as uh, one of a kind t-shirts that I paint with dye. And uh, I have scarves, and pocket squares, and all sorts of other lovely things. So please support me. Well, let's see what the reading is. So you are the 11th sign this week. I ended with water. Sometimes I end with water. Sometimes I begin with water. Sometimes water is in the middle. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. There might be something that you're offered and you're going to be like, no, I think I'm going to move forward. I, I think it has something to do with the past. I think it has something to do with. Um, hmm. uh, I'm getting this feeling of you're moving forward, you know, getting information, but not necessarily using it, which I think is fine. I think it's fine. I think you, you're ready to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to let everything work out on its own. This is a beautiful card. It's about nourishing and nurturing. This is really the card of the week because, you know, it's midsummer. We're in midsummer. This is about like really the rays of the sun coming and blessing you. I think this is perfect that you didn't take this. I, I think this is the past in, in a way, or there was some sort of like string attached. And uh, I think, you know, you're not going to take the bait and you're going to allow the universe to take care of it because you're ready to move forward. You're ready to move into like a more nourishing, more abundant place. Yeah, this could have had something to do with um, thievery or treachery, but this is also, you know, for me, this is like, you're taking responsibility for um, your side of the street, not for anyone else's side of the street. So it's almost as if, you know what I feel like? It feels like here today, this moment, it's almost like somebody was trying to like, I don't know, shame you or have you take on their stuff. And, you know, you're really good at that. I mean, no offense, I am too. Um, and, and people want to like, you know, they, they pretend it's something really, you know, they want, they want you to take responsibility for their feelings. And it's like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm going to take my stuff, I'm leaving. I, I take responsibility for what I did, but not for what you did. And uh, I'm going to allow the universe and karma to take care of it, because I'm living in the light of the sun. How do you like that? Yeah, I'm defending, yeah, defend what's yours, but don't take on anyone else's uh, stuff. You're done, you're done with that. You're, you're onto a new story. You're onto a new story, that one's done. And now you're onto something new because this is beginnings and endings. I'm feeling really strongly about this. Yeah, yeah. You can you can sense it, but you're done with the trouble. You're done with taking responsibility for someone else's feelings. Bravo, bravo, Pisces, because I know how. Uh, easy it is for you to fall into that. And, you know, I, I, I get it. I'm not sitting in judgment. I'm like, I'm, I'm empathizing with you. And I feel like you're like, mm -mm, mm -mm, not this time, not this time. No, sorry. No. I, 
you're it's like a really this is maybe one of the most empowering Pisces readings that I've ever done, honestly, you know, because I always feel like I have to like back you up in a way. I know it sounds weird, but I, I feel like sometimes I feel like Scorpio's job is to like, you know, back up Pisces in a way. And I like this week, I feel like the roles are reversed. I feel like you need to back me up <laughs> and say, don't take on someone else's stuff. It's like, oh, okay, but I really wanted to and I could really help them. It's like, no, 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 no. Smack me up. <laughs> okay. Done. Walking away. Let justice take its course. Because I'm living in the light. I ain't taking your stuff. Mm. Very, very empowered Pisces. Yes. Go empowered Pisces. Go empowered Pisces. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> That's what I got. That's what I got. So, I'm very empowered. Yeah, and I, you always know, you know, you always know what what the the real story is, and I think you see it really clearly. And it's like, oh no, 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 no! I am not taking on your emotional baggage because it's convenient for you. I'm letting you take care of it, and I'm going to walk away and allow justice and karma to come and reveal itself to you. You don't need my help, you know? Sometimes in life, you see people digging a grave and it's like, go lie in your own grave. Don't ask me for help. Sorry, I got things to do. I have to, I have to go to the beach. That's what I have to do, right? I have to go take a walk in the park. That's more important for me, like that, okay? It's great. It's very like, mm -mm -mm, I ain't taking in your stuff. I ain't taking it, I ain't taking it, I ain't taking it. Thank you, no thank you. Wonderful. Blessings.